struggling to engage the business in the change. Any suggestions of how to engage people in IT change when emails, team calls, etc. don't work? Struggling to engage people in change. Okay. Um, so, so that's it's interesting. It, it, it's a bit like it, it, it's, you, know, you can see the, the parallels with our resistance stakeholders yeah. earlier. Um, it, it, it's an interesting one specifically with, with uh, reference to IT changes mentioned, so we might, might touch on that. But um, it, it does come to, if you're struggling to engage people in a change, um, then possibly it's because you're, you're not making it something they should care about. <laughs> so, so like if, if, um, if you tell me that my, um, my hot water is gonna be cut off next week, I'm engaged. Uh, like I care. Um, if, 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 if there's a reason I'm not engaged, it's because I haven't been given a reason to care. Um, so again, understand the benefits. Why should people care about the change? Um, and, um, you know, make sure that, that you are explaining the reasons that it's important to them, why, why, why this, this might be a benefit to them, why it might impact their day-to-day -day life and therefore they just need to be aware of it or, or whatever it is. Um, engagement comes from caring and so give them a reason to care. Um, it's interesting to say emails and calls don't really do anything. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever really engaged with an email they've received. Um, I, I engage with people so I do find <laughs> if you want to if you if you genuinely want to up your engagement one of my go-to um, sort of tactics if you like would be to um, take it out of the virtual take it out of email and go and either um, talk to people if, if there's a particular stakeholder that you're struggling to engage or an area of the business go and talk to them um, but but also um, consider whether there's other people who they would respond to. So, so using business champions, for example, yeah. um, where is the sponsor in, in all of this? Is, should the sponsor be going and talking to people and, and you know, using, using those, you know, there are people within a business whose, whose role it is to, to communicate and gather excitement and, and investment in what we're doing. Um, and it's not necessarily just the PM's role to do that. There are, you know, you've got senior stakeholders who should be championing the change from the sponsor all the way up, you know, the project board, they commission these things to happen. And, and, and you know, you've got people at the sea level who should be, if the change is big enough and it's, it's impacting enough, talking about it to all the people that they talk to every, every day of the week. Um, there's another question around, you, you, I'm picking up specifically on that point around engagement, but I think it's, it's a really interesting one. There's a, there's a question as to whether they need to be engaged or just aware. You know, how are we yeah. defining engagement? Is there something you are needing them to do or do they just need to be aware? And how are you measuring that? You know, if you send me an email, um, I will probably read it and be aware of its contents. But from your perspective, am I engaged? No way of telling. Um, but, but maybe all you need is for me to be aware and maybe, maybe that's sufficient. So, so it's worth just, just checking whether the people, you know, whether everyone needs to be engaged or whether actually I need these six people to be engaged and they are, and I can do that on a regular weekly meeting or whatever it is. Um, but everyone else just needs to be aware and, and that's fine that they're not actually, you know, asking me about this every time we pass each other in the corridor and, and that sort of thing. Um, and, and the final point on, on the fact that it's an IT change is, um, you know, is to bear in mind, I've, I've worked for many years as an IT project manager and learnt the hard way that the project is, that is all consuming in my life and the most important IT change the firm has made in years is still an IT change to everyone else. <laughs> you know, the business, um, use, using a law firm as an example, you know, the, the fee earners, um, their job is to deliver the law, not to, the, the, and the IT is just something that helps them do that. Um, so, so again, it's worth considering that most people aren't going to be engaged with that, um, and, and nor do they need to be. They just need to be aware it's happening. They need to be told what they need to do. Um, they need to perhaps receive training, and this, and this is all talking to 
uh, getting into change management and, and how you move people through through a change, um, which we discussed in our last webinar uh, video available. Um, but, but, you know, that's that's a whole process. Um, but but it goes uh, a long way beyond, um, you know, just just getting a response from someone. Um, but but again, bearing in mind that, the, you know, whilst IT projects can seem huge to the IT project manager, to the business, they might not feel the need to engage. They just want to know when it will be done and will their system work on Monday morning when they turn it on. Um, so, so again, I've learned this the hard way. I've been the ITPM who thought everyone should care much more about my project than they did. And actually, what, you, what I've had to learn is a little bit of humility that um, my project ain't the most important thing in town. I think that's such a good point um, about IT projects, definitely. And I was thinking about your example of the water being turned off and the amount of times I get a letter or, or something from the water board saying they're going to be doing something or other on this date down the road and it, it gets filed in my whatever but if they're going to tell me they're going to make an impact to my water supply then that's a big difference 